Hey guys, so one of my favorite things to do in the holiday season is wrap gifts. I am like obsessed. As you can see, I go a little bit overboard with everything that I get. But some of the things that I like to do is obviously get lots of ribbon, lots of string. And I love getting really fun little ornaments. A lot of stores make very personalized ornaments so you can get something that really fits the person that you're wrapping for, like little sand castles, cute little snowmen, french fries, and then obviously all things glitter. Like glitter is like essential for wrapping gifts. Another thing that I like to get are, um, I get them from craft stores. Like a lot of times craft stores will have things to make wreaths for your door or different kinds of garland. And so I get those and you can actually pull these out really easily. I'll show you how I use them, but they're really fun to wrap ribbon around. But I use all sorts of things. I'm really excited to show you guys what I do and how I wrap gifts, give you guys some fun little tips and see if you like So them. another thing is wrapping paper. You have to get the greatest wrapping paper. So many places have it. I get a lot of mine at Home Goods, Target, Paper Source, Michaels. They all have really, really, really great things. So I was gonna wrap every single present from start to finish for you guys, but then I was thinking like, well, what if my friends and family see this video and then I ruin all of their surprises for them? So I wrapped most of my gifts, but I did save a gift that I bought for myself <laughs> that I'm going to wrap for you. But just really quick, some of the things that I do when I look for wrapping paper is I like to just get a lot of very like neutral looking things like a stripe or even like a solid like tan color. Just things, uh, very rarely will I get things with like dogs or like something with a lot of pattern just like this because I feel like it's harder to match ribbon with it or get little ornaments that will match with it. So I like to get pretty neutral looking things, but I was like, I got three pieces of this because I was just so obsessed with this Nutcracker one. But I always, I feel like there's a perfect piece of wrapping paper for every person. I sound ridiculous, but it's so true. Okay, so like I said, I was obsessed with this. I bought this on Black Friday from Paper Source. So I'm gonna use this for my gift because it's my favorite. So let me show you guys. Okay, I have to show you what I got myself, first of all, because I am like just dying. I It's so hard for me not to keep these before Christmas, but look at, they match my nails. But they're sparkly and I was like, you know what? Should I wait for Christmas for these or should I wear them now? I might open them early if I, if I feel like I want to. But this is how I wrap. So I always put the face down on the paper. And then what's nice is there's always gonna be like lines and stuff on from like different words. So these are always gonna be, well, 99% of the time, they're hopefully gonna be centered but and straight. So what I like to do is I like to line up my paper. Look it, I already ripped this. You know why? Because I tried to do a video right before this and I messed up. <laughs> so I had to unwrap it. So, okay, so I'm lining that up perfectly. So I'll put the tape on there. And what's nice about these pattern ones is they are um, like patterned perfectly. So you can keep everything really nice and straight. Now you want to really pull your paper tight all the way around it because if you don't, you're going to get like really weird stuff around like baggy corners. <laughs> Who wants baggy corners? Not me. Okay. You guys probably think I'm crazy. I am a little bit when it comes to wrapping. So get some more tape and we will put it on. Okay. I hope this is, I hope this works. Uh, this paper is just like barely the perfect size. Oh, look it, that's why. Okay, so I'm gonna do this side first. All right, so what you do is you take the top of the box and you're gonna fold this paper, this side down. And you wanna, again, you wanna get those corners nice and tight so that you don't have anything baggy. If you go from here over, you're gonna get all that all that nasty baggage <laughs> right there. So pull it down nice and tight. If you just run your hand, the paper should roll pretty nicely. And there's two ways you can do this. You can fold the corners in and then pull that out, or you can turn the present over. Hopefully it's not breakable. If it is, I wouldn't suggest doing that. And do the same thing on this side. Again, making sure there's no baggage. No one wants baggage. Okay, so then you just turn these in like that. 
So why? Okay, there. So then you'll take some tape and you'll tape that down. Tape the corners in nice and tight. If these aren't in line, like sometimes the points are off, you can fold those under to make a nice straight line to keep everything really straight. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't, I don't do this because I just feel like it's a very small detail, but um, if you're like super perfect, and look at all oh, my tape is crooked. That's what I'm saying. Like I do things like to a certain degree. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I just like to do this as a hobby. All right, so other side, nice and tight. All right, take that. I'm gonna get that one straight. All right, so then we're gonna go to this side. This side I have a little bit more excess paper. So what you could do is you could cut some of it off while it's wrapped, or you can do the same thing where I like doing the second side first because you can put it pretty flat, but you'll push this down all the way over. Make sure those corners are super tight. On the other side, I hope you guys can see. I'll try to do it this way. This might not turn out so well, but I'm gonna try so you guys can see a little bit better. Get it all the way in. There we go. And then we'll do this side, all the way down. The other thing that I like a lot about uh, wrapping paper from Paper Source is that it's pretty um, thick. And so it doesn't um, tear easily. Like sometimes I'll get some from Target and it's like pretty flimsy and they tear pretty easily. Um, but the ones from Paper Source are pretty thick, which, you know, that can have its problems too because sometimes the tape doesn't stay as well. So if you have something like that, like a, that's a nasty corner right there. <laughs> you can fold that in and make it nice and straight. There you go, kind of, there we go. Okay, so then we'll fold this down nice and tight. over so not everything is perfect but when you turn it over there we go everything should be nice and straight because I lined it up when I was wrapping it so now it's time to add the all right so now it is time to start personalizing thanks Jamie <laughs> okay so we're going to this is the hardest little it's like the hardest but the most fun there's so many options so always pick out ribbon. I always select two ribbons. Well, typically I select two ribbons. So I think I'm gonna go with this red glitter one. And um, it's a wire one, which is nice because then your bows will lay nice and like, nice and full. I don't know the correct, the correct terminology, but that will look really pretty. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and add a gold glitter with it as well. I think that will be really nice unless, what else do I have here? Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so many things. Okay. Uh, you know what? I like this one. This one's really neat. It has uh, like, it's like a chevron, a chevron print. That's pretty. All right, so with my ribbon, I make sure that I'm pretty close to where they both start. And then what do I do? I just go ahead and I pull out as much as I want. <laughs> like I said, you guys, I don't have any kind of rhyme or reason that I do this stuff. So I always try to make sure that I have a lot of slack because I'm going to wrap this around a couple times. And then I also want to have like a nice like tail, a nice Christmas tail on my, on my gifts. All right. <laughs> All right. So that's probably good. I always eye this out. I don't quite measure it. Cuts, cuts, cuts. All right. So I got my ribbon. Now, what do I want to put with my gift? I'm thinking bells. I think that would be pretty. Do you guys like that? Do you like that together? I think I, you know, it's not my favorite, 
I, I, I don't know. We'll see when it's done. All right, so I'm going to do bells. So I found these bells that I had last year. I got new ones too. I'm going to go with these ones. They have different sizes. And I'm going to do three bells because you can't do even numbers and one just looks weeny. Nobody wants one ball. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we, I like to off center these sometimes. I think it just looks kind of nice, but you flip over again. Be careful if your gift is breakable. Um, and then go to make sure that you're, look at me, I'm already a mess. Okay, let's get this over. All right, so you want to make sure that you're pretty even with your um, ribbon when you start. So I like to kind of off center these just because I think it looks pretty, but I'm gonna put mine closer to me and then I'm gonna flip it over. So we're gonna bring the ribbon up, trying to keep the nice small gold one in the middle and you're gonna bring this part through. So you wanna kind of tuck it Tuck it under this way. And then we'll take this guy on this side. Make sure he's even. And we're gonna tuck him under this way. And then what I do is I just take the small ones from here and I tie these ones nice and tight, like so, just like that. Then I get my bells and you string them through. Sometimes you gotta roll it so that it gets through or you just gotta cut it so you have a little pointy corner that you can grab onto. There we go. One, two, and number three. We'll put this one on this one too. All right, so we have our bells now. So now we need to go back to the red part of our ribbon and you line the, uh, the gold part back up with it. The gold ribbon stays on the outside the entire time. So you gotta have to try to manipulate it and twist it just a little bit. So I, I twisted it to come over and then I'm twisting it to come through. Sometimes you have to do your bows a couple times to make them right, but you can get there. All right, so you gotta maneuver these a little bit once they're done. So you pull, you kind of pull these around. And you wanna kind of push them down but these little middle parts, the middle part is what gets the worst. So you have to try to pull that a little loose without pulling everything apart. And you just have to do it just a little bit at a time. There's really, at least I don't know why, I've never taken a bow class, but <laughs> a bow tying class, I learned when I was like five how to bow tie my shoes and that's about it. So <laughs> that's as far as my bow tie, bow, bow tying training goes. It's my mom. <laughs> so, there we go. Then you have your tails, your Christmas tails like we talked about. And sometimes you'll wanna cut them if they're a little bit too um, long. And there we go. There's present number one. Okay, next.
present. Okay, so these are cute little boxes that I, um, I got this one from Paper Source, but you can actually find a lot of them, like these ones I found at Home Goods. They're super cute, um, but they're really easy because they take so much time out of wrapping. You don't need wrapping paper or anything. You really only need ribbon and some cute little things like I get. So with this one, I'm actually gonna use string. <sighs> what string do I wanna use? This is the hardest part. Um, I think I'm just going to use this one. That's going to be super cute. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. Okay, so you got to find the end. <laughs> oh boy, you got to find the end. Right, this is it, maybe. I like to, I wrapped one of these last year, and so I'm going to do the same thing. That's kind of boring, but I'm going to do it. So you actually are going to just unroll and unravel a lot of string. How much do I have here? I got a lot. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Okay, that's probably pretty good. Okay, so you're gonna do a little, little bit more. Okay, so you're gonna cut that. And you're gonna find the middle of, you just basically cut it in half. Or you're not cutting it, but you fold it in half. So you're gonna kind of spread them apart, but you're just gonna go up and around a whole bunch of times. This is so cute. So you go around, up, and around. Ah, I'm getting all mixed up on where I'm at. Okay. Ah, okay. Around again. It's so cute when it's done. I can't wait for you guys to see this one. So you just keep going. You want to make sure that the um, oops, that it stays in the middle of the top. So when you get up here, that's probably pretty good. You want to pull this through. There we go. It takes a second. Okay. So you pull that one through, and then this side. My fingers aren't small enough for this. Okay. There we go. All right. Now that we found that, you tie them. So. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that so adorable? Okay, so now I gotta decide what I wanna put on it. Oh geez, you guys. I feel like this would be cute if it was smaller. <laughs> That's a little, a little overdoing it. I could do a bell, but I just did a bell. Um, is this too big? <laughs> no, a little, a little bit. It's a little too big, I think. Okay, let's see, what else do I got here? This? Mm. No, that's for a different gift. More balls? That's kind of <laughs> cute. Okay. Maybe a... Ooh, that would be super cute. Okay, so I only want to use one star. Because there's only room for one star here, guys. I saw that on a meme today. It was a cat on top of a tree. All right, so with <laughs> these things, you can pull these off. And that's usually what I do. There we go. So you pull those off of this. This is just wire. You can cut them if you have wire cutters or you can just do what I did. And you're going to tie this in to here. And then this end part, you can actually just fold, fold under. And then you just tie a nice little bow. And then you cut it. You gotta cut this guy. And these guys. 
And there's that. Okay, so I'm gonna should use an ornament so that you guys can see what it's like to use an ornament. This one is for one of my brothers. So I'm gonna make it look guyish. So I have this blue, navy blue velvet ribbon that I got at Home Goods. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm gonna use that and then I'm gonna use an ornament to go with it. So um, we're gonna unroll on these. I'm gonna use an acorn because I think that just like is so cute. You got the glitter of the acorn, you got the plaid. It's very, I don't know, cabiny. <laughs> oh man, okay. So what you do is you will pull, pull the ornament through one side, just like that. Then you go ahead and you start tying your ribbon. So you, again, you wanna take it, and loop it here. Get nice and tight. You know what would look really cool too, you guys, is that on there. Ooh, that would look really cool. You wanna keep that velvet part, the top part of the ribbon, on the front the entire time. So, I'm gonna unfold right there. And then see how I do this? I twist it. This is kind of hard to see on the other one because I had so many pieces of ribbon, but I'm gonna twist this under and you wanna bring it through so the velvet st side stays up. And then you have the nice middle part. All right, so then you'll cut your tails, the Christmas tails, and you scrunch them so they look like a Christmas movie. <laughs> Yep. Okay. And like I said, I gotta lint roll all the glitter off, but there we go. What could it be, brother? What could it be? <laughs> all right, next one. Okay, I'm gonna use these balls next. Okay, I can do this. No, I can't do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use these balls. I found them at Paper Source. I thought they were gonna have something to tie on, but I guess you have to double side, double sticky side, double side sticky tape, double sticky sided, shoot, double side, sticky double, what is it called? Double sided tape. Double sided tape. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a gold ribbon with this because I think it would be really cute. I'm gonna use this one. And so since these, you have to like tape them on. Hmm, do I wanna use this on it too? No, those colors don't match. All right, so I'm gonna take these on after. So I'm gonna set those aside, set the tape aside, and I'm going to put the bow on this. And maybe what I'll add in is some red too, because that could be cute. So I'll find my red ribbon. Which, oh, you know what? I'm gonna use this. This is so cute. Oh, wait, I don't know. Ah! <laughs> okay, what do I wanna use, guys? That's freaking cute. Yeah, okay, this in gold. And then we're gonna take these guys. You know, I like it without it too. What do you think? Should I put the balls? I don't know. I kind of like it without the balls. I like it without. Maybe one of these on. And then we're going to take these guys. You know, I like it without it too. What do you think? Should I put the balls? I don't know. I kind of like it without the balls. I like it without. Maybe one of these on. Should that go there? Mm -mm. No, that's just how it was before. I do. I know I like that too. No? It's perfect just the way it is. Okay, so we're going to... I don't need to cut off a lot of this one because I want it to be... A I like that. I liked how that turned out. 
Oh no, there's tape.